know that it's a secret And that I gotta keep it But I want the lights on Yeah, I want the lights on And I don't want What's going on guys? Rust here. Welcome back to another episode of Quantum Break. So I'm pretty sure this is part number 10 and I want to thank you guys for all the support on this series. This game has been a ton of fun and I want to thank you guys so so much for um, all you guys subscribing, liking my videos and I wouldn't be here without you guys. So anyways we're going to hop right back into the series. We just completed Act 3 and I'm pretty sure this episode may be a live action video. I'm not too sure. Um, so yeah, let's go. Alright, Junction 3. This thing growing inside me. I've been fighting it for six hard years. Dr. Amaral was developing a cure for the Cronon Syndrome. She was the only one who could administer the treatments that kept my sickness at bay. Paul? And Jack had taken her away from me. How the fuck did this happen, Martin? How is it possible they managed to take her? Paul, is your illness talking? I'm on your side. Easy, you're... They took her. Without Sophia, there's no chance of a cure. We did all we could. But there are forces within Monarch working against you, and I believe Burke was just the tip of the iceberg. It wasn't just Joyce that did this. Uh, sir? Uh, we've recovered Dr. Amaral's laptop. We have it set up over there if you want to take a look. I'll be right there. I want to go over Sophia's figures. All right. Junction three. Right, the fracture is escalating a lot faster. Look at Sophia's laptop. You know the future. Dr. Emerald doesn't. Is the lifeboat even in a viable for activation? She's trying to convince you the schedule's wrong. Why? To get you to rush this? To make a mistake? The people opposing you. She could be one of them. She isn't. Are you willing to bet the entire plan on that? I implore you, hold off on activation, Paul. Let me clean house before this gets completely out of hand. How do you want to proceed? What's the... Somebody was working against me. Somebody close. Martin Hatch. Sophia Amaral. I could only trust one of them. All right, uh, we're going to check out both of them, see which one best suits um, what I'm going to choose. And so, yep. I want him apprehended. Immediately. So I have some information about Martin Hatch. Martin had been my closest advisor for years. I began to wonder if that had been a mistake. Sophia's loyal. She's always been loyal. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure like she's seen it before. She knows what it does. Sophie's research had saved my life. Loyalty doesn't run any deeper. Okay, so that one is to trust Sophia and suspect Hatch as a traitor. So basically, um, that's expecting the black guy as a traitor. And, okay, let's see what Hatch's perspective. All right, Amaral, let's go fix the time machine. I said I'll try. Evidence was mounting against Sophia. I couldn't simply ignore it, despite everything we had been through. All right, so Sophia is um, a scientist that can help him with the cure. The if she turned against me with what she knew, the damage could be immeasurable. 
All right, so let's go over this one more time. So chooses to trust Hatch and suspect Sophia is a traitor. So we have Hatch is a traitor or Sophia is a traitor. What to choose? I have a feeling if I go with, if I suspect Hatch is a traitor, he'll come at me with tons and tons of resources. Um... Hmm. All right, so I've been thinking about this choice for a minute. I think I am actually going to go with Sophia and, and suspect Hatch as a traitor. Sophia's data has always been good. I'll trust her judgment. We need to analyze these figures and make final preparations to activate the lifeboat protocol at once. Fine. I'll take the laptop to the science department. No, I think I'll do that myself. I see. Sir? Put people on Mr. Hatch. I want constant eyes on him. Yes, sir. You got it. We pulled some images from the security cameras. We've identified Joyce's accomplice. She's Beth Wilder, one of our mid-level operatives. Her. My God, she's been with us all along. She's working with Jack. Where is she now? Unknown. But we've got a kill team tracking her. No, 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 no. She can't be killed. Not yet. Find her. And whatever Mr. Hatch does, I want to know about it. Don't screw this up. Beth Wilder. It was the first time I'd heard her name. But she had been there, in the past. When it all started. She had been there the whole time. Working against me from the inside. And she wasn't the only one. All right, so 60% of the community agreed with my choice, which that's great. So no one trusts the black guy. The treatments, they're losing their All right, guys, I'll shut up. There's no changing the inevitable. Time is just one closed loop. And no matter what I do, time ends. I need to get in that lab. There's something in there that I need. The lifeboat protocol. What is it that you're so threatened by, Martin? Do I look threatened to you? This is Dr. Amaral's report. The stutters, they're, they're increasing in frequency. What is that? A chronon disrupted life form. Extremely hostile. It's Dr. Kim. Let's go! Let's go! No, 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 All right, episode three. He's bald. <sighs> Check my email.
And what did Burke want with it? Well, I don't know. I don't even know what the lifeboat protocol is. It's a sanctuary designed to shelter a list of monarchs' essential personnel to weather the storm until they can develop a solution. Essential personnel? So that means that I'd be on that list, right? Not under Paul Sawin's lead, you wouldn't. He's failed to see the value of his own people, too consumed with grand ideals and delusions. You know what I find to be the most terrifying notion on this planet? The idea of God. Simply the idea. A being with that much power. The ability to take and give so freely. That kind of control. But should be feared, not worshipped. Yet people believe in it. Just as people believe in Paul Serene. See, what's so scary about God isn't his control, but rather, if he ever lost it, Paul Serene's become unhinged, Charlie. He's triggered a catastrophe. He has the chance to fix it, but he's choosing not to. He's choosing to let things end. In the end of time. And this is where we come in. We risk too much leaving the keys to the kingdom in one man's hands. We need insurance. There's something called the CFR. It's a crucial key to our survival and must remain safe. But as long as Paul is the only one with access to it, it isn't. With access to the CFR, I would take over, get Monarch back on track, and once I do, restructuring would be in order, Charlie. Restructuring that would see you as my right hand. I'd be on the list. Absolutely. Then I need to go back to Monarch. And that sort of privilege isolation can only be done from the inside. Put the island on lockdown, but the pump house on the west side has an old supply tunnel that runs beneath the bay. No one knows about it. You'll go unseen. Time is of the essence, Charlie. You better get to it. You're working with the devil, buddy. Commander Davis. Yes, sir. Head to the perimeter lab. We're moving forward. The frequency of the stars is still unpredictable, but they're persistent. Erratic, but persistent. I need certainty. If I initiate the protocol, there's no going back. Mr. Serene, something like this. There is no certainty. We've never dealt with it before. I've seen that guy in How movies long? before. We've been running yeah, Dr. Yeah. Allo simulations. It's hard to say without her to confirm, but... Just give me a time. The Joyceville could collapse within eight hours. Mr. Serene, if you're going to proceed, now would be the time to decide. <laughs> Fragment in time. realize the main character in this um, in this game he plays in all the X-Men movies so that's that's what that reference uh, that reference was Charlie. from Yeah. hey bud 
Where are you going? You're right. Time's ending, just like you said. And the lifeboat protocol, it's a place. They built it to protect people from the fracture. And the only problem is, is, is there's a list and anyone who's not on it is, is pretty much fucked. But if we make it back to the mainland, then I Traitor. can get this list. All of this entire island is on lockdown. How are we gonna do that, Charlie? There's a tunnel. Hey, all right, if you are lying to me this time, I swear to God. No, get off! I'm tired of shit. I don't know why you're doing this, but I don't have to put your name on shit, motherfucker. What'd you do to him? He's fine. I'm gonna tell you why you're gonna put me on that list. I got a pregnant wife at home, and she's the only thing that I am thinking about right now. So if you get in the way of me protecting her, I swear to fucking God, next time, you will not catch your breath. Lead the way. Watching um, Psych on Netflix. That's such a good show. I'm on season six right now. I'm watching like seven, eight episodes a day. Oh, so um, Xbox, they made a statement on their Twitter today that they are not giving out their PC codes for people that pre-ordered this game um, for about 7 to 11 days after the release date, which at the time of recording this is today, which is stupid. I mean, if, you, if you're expected to get a release, a code, you should get it on release day, because I wanted to play this on PC. Even though people that have played it on PC, they say it, the frame rates are horrible, the game's unoptimized, so maybe it's for the better. I've come to free you, my friend. This imprisonment. It's unsettling. It's time for you to rejoin the others, to return to the infinite. Wow, <laughs> that's too much detail. Oh shit. Did he blow up everyone in that lab? How far along is your wife? Three months. Congratulations.
is that? We're under the bay. Oh, he blew up the whole building, didn't he? Liam? There's a trap. Maybe this choice was bad. I, I, I told... That's what I thought. Choosing her... He was going to have some resources or he was going to do something. Well, that wasn't that exciting. He didn't even come close to them. You doing okay? Yeah. Yeah, hey, yeah. I'm good. We need to get... get on the fucking ground! Hey, ground! No, 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 we're with Monarch! What don't you understand? Hey, no, get on the ground! Hey, no, no, no. Hey, I'm the one that called it in. I'm Hatch's guy. Wincott. Yeah. Who's she? She's... She's a whore. Cronon scientist. She's important. We have to get her back to Monarch right away. Please. Get the fuck out of here. Now! Yeah. Fiona! 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 You gotta listen! Hey! Ah. Oh, shit! You killed him! Fuck! Hey! I didn't know that they were gonna kill him! What was I supposed to do? Huh? You let me on and then you kidnapped me! This isn't me. about you, Charlie! Are you stealing this car? Just get the fuck out of here! No, you're gonna need me! I got what I needed out of you. Yeah, I'm getting used to it. I don't Why think they killed him. you open your eyes? The world is about to end. I'm trying to do something. Yeah, you're a real hero. Fuck you. Bitch. Fuck you. A nurse, huh? I'll see you there. Burke. You fuck. You know, I'm really gonna enjoy killing your wife. Knew it. Lit his throat. God damn. Come on, buddy. Just a flesh wound. Overkill. Commander Davis. Davis and his team. They're all good men. Potential thumbnail? That looks funnest. about my treatments I'm afraid so you know what this means you don't know for sure I'm a dead man you let this happen Jack he wants me to become him. he wants me to suffer until the end Joyce and Wilder but what was troubling me 
who got them in the Kim's lab. Excuse me. She paid a visit. While well, she was thought to be missing. Minutes before the explosion. He killed her. Paul. Paul, what? Paul, will you listen to me? Look, it's time you see her for who she really is. This was a parting gift. They forced her. She's trying to destroy you, She's Paul. trying to help me. Oh, Jesus. Look at you. The smartest man I know. Blinded by a fool's love. Paul, what are you planning on? Sophia's loyal. She's gotten inside your head. Did she not die? She's always been loyal. I don't know. <laughs> Think about this. If the fracture's happening now, I owe this to her. Collaborating for lifeboat protocol. Try and finish this game by tomorrow. Doctor Holden, what the hell is it? The protocol has been initiated. I need to wake my family. I'm afraid we have no time. Would I watch a TV show like this? I don't know. The characters to me are just not interesting. <laughs> well, speaking, they don't really have any character development. I was just telling your girl here how concerned about you we've been. Emily, we need to go. Go? What's the rush? Emily, let's go. Get him, Terry. It's all CGI. Snap his neck. Yeah. <laughs> 
That a boy. Man, you have to be really strong to be able to do that. She sees who he really is now. Emily, give me the keys. Give me the keys. Get away from me. Get away. Emily, listen. No. listen. See how every girl reacts after this something like this. Way. This is not. I'm telling you, I never felt good doing this. I, I never, I never felt. Is he raping her? Doing this. But it's the only thing I knew how to do. And when I got back, I couldn't, I couldn't find anything. I couldn't find anything to do. And Monarch, they found that useful, and they put me to work. I swear to God, I couldn't, I couldn't stand, I couldn't stand being alone. It's, so every Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I would, I would walk down the street because it was the only two nights at the bartender. And she wasn't at school, and I told myself every night to ask you about it. It took me a fucking year. I'm like, if Mama, if they gave me structure. You gave me purpose. I did this to protect you. I did this to protect us. Our family. I did this to protect our family. But I'm waiting you have to listen to me. Something terrible is coming. And I will explain to you on the way, but we have to move. We have to move right now. If you will just let me, if you will just let me protect you. On my side. Please. Please. This is me. It's me. It is me. Okay. We have to go. We have to go right now. Oh, that, that's not the person who died. That's just the access log to enter the, the lab. This episode feels a lot longer. Yeah, it's Beers. I'm at the perimeter lab. So I have some information about Martin Hatch. I want him apprehended. Immediately. Very interesting episode. It really showed um, the true characteristics behind Hatch. What his plan was. What he's going to do. Alright, so I want to thank you guys for watching the episode. Um, I do all my um, you know, TV show episodes in a single video and separate. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed it, you know, there's no gameplay, just watching a TV show. But, alright. Um, I don't think there's that much longer. There's a total of four episodes and the in-between gameplay is around, I'll say an hour and a half. An hour, an hour and a half long. So if you guys enjoyed it, uh, make sure you give it a like, and I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.